During and after last night's Canucks Oilers game, and really over the last few weeks, we have been witnessing something I don't think I've ever seen in any professional sport. Being out of a playoff position into the second half of the season, the Canucks faithful packed the house to send off their coach, Bruce Boudreau, as the entire planet knows at this point that he's getting fired. Now, most of this video will be dedicated to what has transpired with Boudreau and the very interesting post-game interviews by him and Chen, but let's take a very quick look at the game itself first. The Canucks seem to come out hard, getting several good chances, but Skinner answered the bell early and then on the counter, McDavid breaks loose and yeah, he's going to score more times than not on this one. He gets his 40th of the season in 48 games. Scoring at a pace we haven't seen in two decades. Just insane. Then on the power play, getting on a two-on-one rush, McDavid to Hyman and he scores to get them up by a pair. The second saw the team's trading goals is first, Nuge gets a stretch pass up to Hyman who gets it to dry sidle and they score again. The Canucks, though, answering back, score in very similar fashion. A stretch pass up to Pedersen gets it over to Kuzmenko who breaks away and scores their first of the game. So into the third now, the Canucks winning the faceoff in the Oilers end, Hughes to Miller on the one-timer and they score to get the Canucks back to within just a goal as Miller blasts this one through traffic to score. However, answering back, the Oilers now in the Canucks end score from the point but a coach's challenge and this one gets called back for goalie interference which led to a classic Bruce there it is chant this might be the loudest Bruce there it is chant of the night with the fans fired up pretty special stuff there and you could really feel the Canucks wanted this one for Bruce and while they pushed hard to get this one tied up on the empty net Nugent Hopkins scores to put this one away now this year has been a dumpster fire for the Vancouver organization a losing record now at 18 25 and 3 one of the worst penalty kills in NHL history underperforming highly paid players their captain likely having to be traded due to mismanagement and just what appears to be a rough atmosphere overall in a typical situation like this it wouldn't be unheard of for fans to revolt, oftentimes against whoever the head coach is. Yet, despite all of this, and despite losing this game at home, the crowd erupted at the buzzer. Respect individual, respected individual in the hockey world giving a standing O to Bruce Boudreau, breaking out in Bruce There It Is chance again as he stayed out to take it all in for a second. So yeah, again, the Canucks fan base, in a way I have never seen in professional sports, never mind just in the NHL, have shown Bruce Boudreau nothing but absolute class and love as he's getting fired. But there's a feeling that they know this runs deeper than Boudreau, and the way management has dragged Bruce along, letting him know he's getting fired but keeping him around in a weird psychological circus, the whole world knows Rick Tockett is taking over, but forcing Bruce to show up anyway, let's just say, it's been hard to watch one of the most beloved coaches I remember getting slowly broken down week by week and I think it's just so cool to see the fans acknowledge the man the way they have and did again last night. Now in the post game media scrum Canucks Luke Shen said something that summarizes I think what the fans are feeling here. All, all the guys in the room respect Bruce a lot. Um, the teams that execute the systems are the teams that have success um, but at the end of the day coaching to me is relationships and, and that's one thing that stood out to me is uh, you know he's a, he's a people person been around a long time he has a great deal of respect not only with guys in the stress room but guys who played, uh, you know, prior in teams that he's coached. This, to me, says it very clearly. This isn't a coaching issue. Boudreau also mentioned not believing he ever lost the room. Well, uh, of course, I don't think I lost the, the room. I'd, I mean, I just had 15 of them come up to me. and We're all crying together, which is silly for us. Bruce did what a coach is there to do. The fact that these guys, even right now, are willing to run through a wall for the guy indicates that this is not a coaching issue, at least not solely. This is a major mismanagement issue, in my opinion. But I guess we'll see what comes of a coaching change going forward. I certainly can't imagine coming into this kind of odd situation, but I wish the Canucks all the best. So with all that said, that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Respected individual in the hockey world. In a season that's been full of turmoil, it's hard to imagine we will forget the chance of Bruce. There it is anytime soon.